Hey everyone, this is me Dekar here at Gamer Connect, and today I'm here again to talk about a game and maybe I'll be able to convince you to at least try out this game once before you like it or hate it by just looking at the gameplay. So today we're going to talk about a game that has been out there for the last 7 years. It has been developed by Digital Extremes and the game is called Warflame. So I'm going to start with what kind of game exactly is Warframe. It is an MMORPG where you play as a space ninja. It is a third person shooter with a core focus on cooperative gameplay. But that doesn't mean you can't solo play the game. It implies that it is more convenient to play when you are in a squad which is very common in most MMOs. So if you have played games like Destiny or Borderlands you might want to try this one out as well. The game also has the elements of a looter shooter and aspect as such that it is sometimes also called a farming simulator. Now I'm gonna get back to that in some time but before that let's talk about the gameplay. The game starts with a cinematic prologue where you choose between 3 warframes and immediately after you've chosen your first warframe, you get to fight the enemies and escape from that place using your spaceship. The combat system in the game involves 3 different sets of weapons, primary, secondary and melee weapons. The primary weapons consist of rifles, grenade launchers and bows while the secondary weapons consist of comparably smaller weapons like pistols with lesser magazine capacity but it gets the job done when you are unable to use your primary weapons. Then comes the melee weapons which are basically swords, shields, gauntlets and large hammers. All of these weapons have their specific style of gameplay which involves specific movements and tactics. So every time you change your weapon you get to experience a brand new form of gameplay. I've tried many of these weapons and all of these are very fun to play and you can do lots of cool stuff using them. Although my most favorite is using a fast melee sword and sliding through hordes of enemies and chopping them off. Now the combat system has a steep learning curve which means it is sometimes difficult for new players to get accustomed to it. But once you get the hang of it you'll absolutely love to play the game. Apart from the weapons you also have companions who accompany you into battles. There are three kinds of companions, sentinels, kubros and kavats. The sentinels are basically robotic drones that hover over your head. They can provide the warframe with shield boosts, track various items and enemies in the map and also shoot at the enemies. Kubros and kavats are actually dogs and cats respectively in the game. They might look a little bit different from normal cats and dogs but they sound the same. They also attack enemies, fetch you loots and even help to locate items and enemies but the best part is you can pet them. All these weapons and companions, even the warframes, can be enhanced with mods. There are hundreds of mods and it can be really confusing to make mod loadouts in the beginning and then you play the game for a few days and it still remains confusing. I've played the game enough to understand how every mod works but I'm not going to talk about them in this video because all of this can be really intimidating for new players. All I can say is you actually don't need to worry about what mods to put in your loadout although it plays an important part in the game. What you can do is use Warframe's AI to auto apply the mods to your loadout and you'll be good to go for a long time without needing to care about them. But if you want to do it perfectly you can find many tutorial videos and even websites where you can find out loadouts for every specific weapons, Warframes or companions. Now before I move on to the story of the game I want to discuss one more of the many things in Warframe. But don't worry I'm not going to spoil the story of the game. So the thing I'm going to talk about is relics. And the reason is since we have already discussed about weapons and warframes, you might also want to know about the enhanced versions of them which are known as Prime Weapons, Prime Warframes and there's also Prime Sentinels. So you might think since it has Prime in its name you need to pay with actual money to get the premium stuff because that's what I thought at the beginning of the game and was almost about to spend money for them. So the relics are actually containers that contain valuable objects in it and in this case it is mostly Prime parts of weapons, warframes and sentinels and they also contain other important objects from the game. So to open a relic you need to complete a given mission to collect the key objects that opens the relics and at the end of the mission one random item is dropped from the list of the items that can be found in the relic. There are three types of relics but I'm not going to go into details and confuse you so let's move on to the various factions in the game. There are six different factions in the game which are Grenier, Corpus, Infested, Orokins, Syndicates and Sentients. I'm not going to describe each of the factions because that would be a major spoiler for the game and I would really like you to play the game and find it out yourself. But I can give some ideas about the factions so the main enemies that you are going to encounter mostly in the game are the Grenier, Corpus and the Infested. Every location has its specific faction of enemies and each of the factions have their own attack style and abilities. Now let's talk a little bit about the story. Warframe's story is the best aspect of it. It has a very solid and interesting lore and it still gets updated at least once every year. If you are one of those guys who care about the lore in the game, you are absolutely going to love it. One of the reasons why I kept on playing the game was because of its absolutely amazing story. Though for new players understanding the story might be a little bit difficult until everything is cleared out at one point. So the story is spread over a number of quests and each of the quests involve completing a set of missions which is spread in various locations all over the solar system. 
Now that you got the idea about how the game progresses, let's talk about the different missions that are in the game. So there are 10 kinds of missions that you can play in this game. I'm going to name all of them and describe them very briefly. Starting with capture missions, these are the one where you wear down a specific enemy target and bring them back to your ship for interrogation. Next we have defection mission. This is an endless mission where you guard squads of defectors and help them escape from the location. Then comes defense missions which are also endless missions, here you defend an object from waves of enemies. Then we have excavation mission, also an endless mission where you extract various artifacts buried deep in the earth from various spots in the location. Next is an extermination mission where your main objective is to eliminate all enemies that are present in the given location. Then there is interception missions where you trace radio signals to capture a message. Rescue missions are the ones where you rescue a captured target from the enemies and bring them back home. Next is a sabotage mission where you reach a location to destroy it before leaving. Then we have the stealthy spy mission where you collect data from three sites without letting the enemy know that you are there. And lastly we have the assassination missions which are basically the boss fights of each planet. So as you can see there are various kinds of missions to keep you excited throughout the game. My favorite kind of missions are the spy missions because I've always been a fan of stealth gameplay which is why I also like to play games like Assassin's Creed. So we have kind of covered all the basic stuff that you need to know about Warframe and all of this comes down to one question that is why should you play Warframe? First of all it is an amazing game has an amazing story and is also fun to play. And moreover, it is a free game along with all the content present in it. It even has a battle pass system that is totally free and provides the players with rare and premium stuff. But then again, why do people avoid playing this game? That is because it is a very grindy game. There will be times when you'll have to play the same mission 30 to 40 times to get that one specific item drop. And this is the reason why people also call it a farming simulator. But there are also ways how you can get them faster which involves playing in a group with people with various warframe to increase the productivity of each run. So if you look beyond all of this, you'll find a very beautiful game and if you're just starting the game, you'll easily have 1-2 to two years of content at your disposal. Although once you reach a very high level in the game, there's not much for you to enjoy, which is one of the problems on Warframe and that also refers to the fact that there's no end game reward. You might grind for hours and unlock some powerful weapon in the game and then find out something equally powerful but involves a lot different playstyle and you'll be thrown back to the grind again. So I don't know if I'm making any sense but if you like grinding games then Warframe is definitely a game for you. I'll also point out that you really don't have to grind Warframe for hours to enjoy the game. And if you are grinding a lot it probably means you are actually enjoying the game and want to explore all the content that the game can provide which is a lot. So what do you think about Warframe? Would you like to try the game out? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow GameConnect.in on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. We'll be putting out many more videos like this. And if you want to play Warframe with me, you can find me on Instagram. The links are in the description. That was me, Decker. See you again in the next video.